Malvern and Peridot Theatre Companies are very pleased to present the winners of our 2020 short play competition, Happy Endings. Unforeseen by Simon Cooper has been directed by Susan Rundle, starring Joe Diaz as Will Bartholomew, Monica Greenwood as Jenny Forbes, and Greg Barrison as Tony. Mr. Bartholomew, benvenuti e ritorni qui con noi. I really hope the last few months hasn't been too difficult for you as they have been for us here at Traviatis. First, we had to reduce the numbers to comply with the government. Then, we had to shut it completely. And then, <laughs> we could only offer the outdoor services. We were starting to think like the Pope said to Michelangelo when he was painting the Sistine Chapel. When will there be an end to it? <laughs> But now we welcome back our regulars for not only the uh, the drinking, but for the full table service again, huh? Oh, well, it's it's been a difficult year for all of us. But now it's summer, the sun is shining, and we've got a lot to be thankful for. It's lovely to be back here again in my favourite bistro. I'll, I'll have the usual thanks, Tony. Certo. You know, it seemed like a so long since we last have seen you, you know? Up until a few months ago, if you had have asked me what a Corona was, I simply would have gone to the fridge and got you one of my favourite beers. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that the last few months haven't been too hard for you, huh? Well, it, it, it has been a difficult time. Sadly, Lizzie passed away a couple of months ago, which has uh, changed the complexion of my life. She was in decline for some months. But, as Adam Lindsay Gordon said, life is mostly froth and bubble. Two things stand like stone. Kindness in another's trouble. Courage in your own. Mr. B, truer words were never spoke, huh? And uh, how did you spend your enforced holiday, Tony? <laughs> Pretty much the same like everybody else, you know? You know, I now lay claim to the best sourdough uh, loaf in the city of Stoning. I'm a master of uh, online chess, oh, and I learned to Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, madam. Ah, what a beautiful day, huh? Ah. What can I get for you? Oh, yes, it's such a welcome change, isn't it, to be out and about again, yeah. smelling the roses, as they say. <laughs> um, I, I think I'll just have a sparkling mineral water, please. Certo. Something to match my mood. <laughs> certo. I want to belong. I must apologise. I, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. It seems as though the last few months have been difficult for many, but they've been particularly difficult for you. I, I, I'm very sorry to hear it. It's uh, very kind of you to say that. Hopefully we're all on a better trajectory now. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I'm rather new around here, actually. Uh, it takes a while to uh, get a feeling for a new place and settle in. I'm fortunate in that regard. I've lived around here for many years. There's something um, comfortable about this neighborhood. The shopkeepers are familiar and there's so many lovely places to walk around. <laughs> I particularly like it in spring when the gardens start to bloom. You can feel the warmth giving them and yourself a new lease on life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's my favorite season too. I particularly like the scent of jasmine. Oh. I find it, it almost lifts you up and carries you away to another world. <laughs> or the smell of roses around Melbourne Cup time. Oh, everything feels rejuvenated. <laughs> there is something about the gardens in this neighbourhood that make them very special. I, I find myself out and about walking for a couple of hours a day. 
<laughs> there you are, Mad. Oh. Um, something is sparkling to match your mood, if yeah. I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're, it's all part of the, the, the service, Amanda. <laughs> you are very welcome. Um, I don't think that I've seen you here at Traviata's before. Oh, no, as I was just saying to this gentleman, I, I, I only moved into the neighbourhood about six months ago, oh. just before the lockdown. I'm still feeling my way, as they say. Enjoy your mineral water, madam. <laughs> Thank you. He certainly is a courteous and attentive waiter. <laughs> yes, Tony's been here for many years. <laughs> Knows everyone who comes in and loves a good chat. Oh. <laughs> a constant source of local gossip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Will. Oh. I'm Jenny. Well, Tony is what I'd call a real charmer. <laughs> he reminds me a bit of my late husband, actually. He, he was always up for a laugh and very attentive. <laughs> oh, well, he, he passed away a couple of years ago now. It takes a while to adjust. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Yes. But life goes on. If you don't mind me asking, um, are there any local activities of interest that you could recommend? Uh, are you interested in music? Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit of a, a culture vulture when it comes to music. <laughs> now, my tastes are eclectic, running from pop to classical, <laughs> which is my favourite. Oh, I took up the clarinet during the lockdown, which certainly pleased me. <laughs> Although... I, I can't say that uh, my neighbour was quite as enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems we share the same interest in classical music. Oh? Well, I learned the piano when I was at primary school, and oh. I still enjoy playing, especially Mozart. Oh, I find his music almost lyrical. It, if I had to pick one piece, it would be Symphony No. 41, The Jupiter. Oh. His last was, I think, his best, where he really cuts loose. It's as if, uh, as though he's leaving a calling card for Beethoven to come and pick up the symphonic revolution. <laughs> I share your enthusiasm for the Jupiter. I was only listening to Eine Kleine Nuck music last night. Oh. It's the piece I love most of all. It's as though it was a, um, a, a by the way piece. <laughs> Did you know? that he penned it whilst writing Don Giovanni. And it wasn't published until long after he died. <laughs> no, I didn't, but, but it seems as though those stars are aligning again. <laughs> I was at a concert last week at Hamer Hall and it was the centrepiece of MSO's performance. I was there last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a oh. bite to eat uh, at Allegro's before yeah. the concert. Uh, generally, I, I like to cook for myself. I've been told that my penne matriciana surpasses the one that's served here, oh. <laughs> which is a bit of a compliment. I, uh, I tend to cook Italian dishes mainly. It was passed down to me from my grandmother, who immigrated from Tuscany after the war. <laughs> In English, we call a spade a spade, but as my nonna used to say, di pane el pane, il vino il vino <laughs> which simply means bread is bread and wine wine oh, what a wonderful expression <laughs> <laughs> to create something in the kitchen is one of my passions too well uh, my grandparents were french actually and, and my grandmother like yours passed her love of cooking down through the generations oh well they had six children so it wasn't any wonder that she she used to say avoir du pain sur la planche which literally translates to, to have bread on board, <laughs> which means she had a lot to do. <laughs> There's no wonder with all those children. Mm. Nevertheless, she always found time to cook her superb coq au vin, mm. and that was the recipe she passed down through the generations. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like creating that special dish that you can call your own. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Although, cooking for oneself isn't nearly as uplifting as an experience. <laughs> Well, although um, I'm new to this part of town, I do know where my dentist is. And unfortunately, I'm due there soon. So I'm going to have to bid you adieu. <laughs> it's 
been lovely chatting with you. And you too. <laughs> Thank you, madam. It's a bit of delightful to meet you. <laughs> and you too. Well, I'll, I'll certainly be back again. <laughs> well, ha have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> Well, after the dentist, that is. <laughs> I've uh, put something special on it for you as you are leaving. It's uh, one of Mr. B's favorites. <laughs> <laughs> lady. I would have liked to get her know to get to know her better. Yes. It seems uh, we had a lot in common. Mm -hmm. I must confess, I, I would have liked to know what she looked like. It's so funny you should say that to Mr. B. On the way out she was asking me the same thing about you. She said that she was sorry to hear about the Lizzie and well I, I explained it to her that Lizzie was a you guide dog. She said that she knew how much of a wonderful companion that Lizzie must have been for you and how sad you must have been. And then she gave me this. It's a card with, uh, with the phone number and the contact details. It's in Braille. She said that if you ever want to go to the concert with her, she would be delighted to go. Eh? <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny how things have turned out, eh, Mr. B? Well, Tony. Life certainly throws you some twists and turns. <laughs> and in this case, a very delightful and unforeseen twist in my direction. <laughs>